Welcome back, everyone. The pandemic has certainly taken a big, big toll on small businesses, which is why we're going to see some different spots to see how they're surviving and thriving these days. In today's Small Business Spotlight, Channel 3's Caitlin Francis went to Summers to check out Sunny's Place. Family owned and family friendly, Sunny's Place in Summers. An amusement park built on farmland was named for the owner's father. It's pretty safe to say anyone could find something fun to do here. We've got, you know, things for the smaller kids. We've got, you know, the carousel's good for anyone, but we've got the playland um, and then up to adults. We have a, um, a live music series that's free. That happens every Friday through Sunday through the summer. Other activities include go-karts, virtual reality, a dark ride theater, batting cages, a climbing wall, and mini golf. Well, you know, you can hang out for a few hours in the arcade, um, our laser tag, uh, games are actually 45 minute sessions, so you know that would be a good afternoon trip for you know pretty much anyone. Even though the pandemic forced Sunny's Place to close for a few months last year, this year business is booming. Our event bookings are definitely picking up quite a bit, yes, and birthday parties have been extremely popular this year. So um, it definitely seems like people are looking to, to get back out of their houses after losing a summer basically last year. The weather has also been fairly cooperative. Summer-like days are bringing people out to have a little fun. And at Sunny's, which opened back in 2008, there's usually something new to do each year. We've definitely grown up. You know, we started out with just the driving range here and then added the miniature golf and, and basically have expanded at one new attraction a year. Um, some years more than that. So we're definitely, you know, a place that the whole family can come uh, and have a great time. The driving range closed in 2014 to make room for all the other activities as they continue to look forward. They follow all the CDC and state guidelines to keep people safe and say they're excited to have things feel more normal this summer. In summers, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.